What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to show you how to mine some helium. Alright, so guys, this is pretty easy to do. Here's a couple of the miners you guys can pick up. And it's a very easy setup guide. Basically, you plug up and go type of thing. Um, but anyways, here are the different helium miners. There are five different ones if you want to check it out. It is on the helium website. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, this is Drake on Digital. And if you are not on the channel, you're getting left behind. Guys, there's a link in the description for our Telegram chat if you want to join the Digi Squad. So go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go ahead and get into this overview. All right, so I do, uh, me personally, I like the Bobcat Miner, um, being I'm kind of in the boonies. <laughs> so that uh, little radio signal or the little antenna that comes with it definitely helps a bunch. So go ahead and check it out. So what do you need to start mining helium? Well, first you need the hotspot device. Those were five different ones that you saw. And then you need to download the mobile application on your phone and activate the hotspot. So when the hotspot starts mining, it'll transfer um, the HNT tokens to your device. The energy consumption. So in regards to the uh, hotspot, it really doesn't use that much energy. So it spends about $10 a year. So mainly your most uh, money that you're going to be spending is on the machine itself. So it varies from $300 to $600 and there is a huge backlog of it. By the way, there are people selling this two to three times the price on eBay. In my opinion, when the bear market comes, they will be selling half the price. But that's just my opinion. This is how you choose your radio, free, radio frequencies. This is based on where you are located. So if you're in the US, you're looking at 915. Don't know what country that is. I want to say that is Korea, but I'm probably wrong. Um, I'm just not going to look at and say any more of these because I'm probably going to get them all wrong. But I can say this is Europe. <laughs> oh, and wait, this is Australia. All right, so how much can you honestly earn doing this? Well, it depends. So profitability depends on the total amount of miners. So the more miners you have, the more you're going to earn. But there is a caveat. If they're right next to each other, not going to earn, earn too much. But if they are spread out in equal distances, um, usually about two to 300 meters apart, you should be solid. So here are the current st statistics. The witnesses is because you have multiple miners. You earn more being a witness. Uh, three to five is gonna be 150 HNT. Five to 15 is about 500. And 15 plus is gonna be about 800. So the money spot is gonna be about the five to 15 is what you're gonna look for. So hotspot miners earn more HNT being in range with other miners. So again, 300 to 350 meters apart. So single HNT hotspot miners earn less as they can only issue challenges over the internet. So they can't do the proof of coverage because they can't link with the other miners. So do keep that in mind. There is a halving coming, so you can basically cut these monthly uh, amounts in half in August. So keep that in mind, just about in half. It may be a little more. So here's the hotspot placement that you guys need to know. So you really wanna place your hotspots in clear line of sight to other hotspots and be as high as possible. So things like walls, windows, etc., they can affect your miner. So elevating the gateway gives your hotspot potential to reach other miners. So 12.5 mile radius and even further. So here's kind of showing the gateway and the endpoint, and you guys can see the red is not good. Um, yellow is okay. So you guys can see <clears throat> see how it's very high up. And you can see you're getting good, good coverage. And you see it's low, and you got cars and junk being a distraction. It's not good. And even when cars are far away, being it's low. But look, if you see how high it is, you guys can see how the difference is. So the higher, the better. So best thing to do is probably get a balloon or a bunch of balloons and tie them on a super long string and let them float to the top and tie it to the uh, very top of the house. I think it should be solid at that point. So this is how you choose a suitable hotspot antenna. So you got different antenna types. You got one that's going to basically focus it in one area. Um, you got one that's gonna be focusing in two areas but not as strong and not as far. 
And then you also got one that is more wider, but not as far. I would recommend the 2DBI and going with several miners and then giving your friends and buddies and neighbors some or convince them to buy some as well. Not financial advice, just telling you how it's going to work. Or you can even have a car and just have a drive around. And this is the miners you can buy. You can easily just buy, buy them online. Sorry, but I'm not going to show you how to buy a miner. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to use a credit card. I think you can do that. Here's a breakdown of each of them. The Nevra miners, um, yeah, they've been approved by the community and they are indoor and outdoor. You just have to pick the certain one that you like. Or not like, but the one that you prefer. It's going to cost you about 415 bucks, so do keep that in mind. The outdoor miner is going to be about 580. You can manage your um, hotspot remotely. You can get the basic plan, which is basically an auto update, etc. Or you can get the paid plan, um, which allows a dashboard to remotely manage your miners and check hotspots, data, status, etc. Then you got the Bobcat. So this is the one I like. The Bobcat has the highest 4B antenna, and if you guys remember, here's the 4DBI antenna. Well, it's not here, so basically the 4DBI would be like one step above this, so just keep that in mind. It'll probably be about a 50 degree radius. How's it to connect with other wire, uh, with other witnesses, 10 mile range. Um, the storage capacity has a 64 gig flash card. And the other ones only have 32. And yes, it's 8 to 12 weeks. So do keep that in mind. And then you got Rockwoodness. Nah, I'm just kidding. Rank Wireless. Uh, they are the lowest cost, but they have the lowest 2.8 DVI. Um, again, I know you. I stated earlier in this video that it would probably be the best. The reason why I like it the best is if you get multiple miners, this is more so for people in the city you'll get better coverage and so on. But hey, um, I, I'm not going to tell you and say, hey, don't pick another one. I'm just telling you, I think that's the best one if you're in a city and have the um, a lot of people in your area. But you don't want to be a miner in an area where there's a ton of people because um, that's also negative. So you want it just right. Also, um, you can buy a 8 DBI miner or um, antenna, but wouldn't recommend it because um, being that it's so specific, that's more so for someone in the boonies or in the mountains, etc. So here's how to maximize mining profits. Make sure it's got a good interconnection, internet connection, always online. Have a clear line of sight to your gateway as possible, aka the hotspot miner. And choose the antenna based on your environment and hotspots around you. Don't overcrowd. Make sure your hotspots are 300 to 350 my, or meters away from other hotspots. Sorry, when I was referring to your gateway, that's your internet connection, not your um, hotspot. <laughs> when I was saying hotspot, I was kind of referring to like your modem. So just so you don't, guys don't get that confused, you have your helium hotspot miner and your modem. Your modem is where your internet comes from. So how do you install this? It's pretty easy. You just throw it up there and float it on some balloons. Or you can just seal it to the wall. Or you can just put it in your kitchen. It's up to you. You don't have to get fancy. Or you can get fancy and um, basically get bank. All right, so can someone steal your hotspot miner? Yeah, no dip. Of course they can. They just register it with another device. So if you guys are buying this on eBay, don't. For so your hotspot miner, yes, um, someone can steal it. but uh, once the miner is registered under your wallet, nobody can use it except you. So it's it's kind of a one and done. So even if you do buy it on eBay, it's kind of like, uh, okay, you better make sure it's new. So just saying when you guys are looking for that. Which websites should you avoid when purchasing miner? So here's a couple of fake ones just to make sure that you guys don't go on these. If you want to go on the real website, just go straight on the store and just click this. How do you exchange it? Uh, well, guys, it's so easy. Um, if you guys don't know how to do that, I don't know how to help you. I think it's even on Coinbase. Uh, you can just send it straight from your wallet to an exchange and then you sell it. Is this risk-free? Well, no, because you got to buy the uh, machine and have some fun. So really, that's all you need to do with a helium miner. 
Um, let me go ahead and show you guys a heat map on how this is gonna look. All right, guys, here's a pretty cool website to use. It's called hotspotrf.com. So basically what you guys can do is you can actually go directly on this website and zoom into any city, any location, any area, and you guys can see what is happening. So yellow is not good. Red is also not good. Neither is orange. Green is what you're wanting to look for. So you're gonna have to look for the city, area, and location you're in. So if it's a super populated city, you probably wanna spread your miners on out. So this guy, he did not watch this video guide. He just threw one in the street and he threw one in his house. Still getting a pretty good daily reward, so we got that radio signal right. But don't know why he's right next to each other. If you spread them out, you probably do a little bit better, a little bit better, but hey, not financial advice, right? <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, that's exactly how you can kind of pick the places and locations. You can actually use this website for free. It is a paid site, um, but they do have like a free promotion, not pro promotion, but like a free trial period, etc., that you guys can use. Um, but basically the name of the game is to get as many helium miners as possible on the network. That's what helium is looking to do. So that's how it's incentivizing with this helium token. If you don't know anything about this token, that's okay. I made a video guide so you can learn about it a bit. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to support the channel in any way, there are some links in the description below. You get a reward. I get a reward. It's a win-win. Bomb, bomb. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you in the next one. And of course, guys, we got to do all wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 31, verses 17. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. I like it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video.